Hey, this is Kim at Multiscreen Multivision with a book review, or in this case, graphic novel, for, as you can see, the name of the book, My Favorite Thing is Monsters by Emil Ferris. I first saw this in Entertainment Weekly. I thought it was like a really cool looking thing. Um, I'm going to do a bit of a thumb through. Um, here's the first page, and here is the flap, and the inside, like, the whole, it looks more like a journal than a graphic novel. Here, I'm not gonna read it for you, but you can always hopefully pause it, so that you can read it. I um, hope I'm keeping this steady enough. And we'll go back through, I'll show you the page. Now, every few, I thought these were all different, you know, different stories that, you know, the, this is supposed to be covers of magazines, the character Care, or what she's Nick called in the book, but I think her full name's Karen. Um, her brother is Diego, or they call him Dees for short, but he taught her how to draw, and it's like horror, horror covers from magazines that are here, and like I said, I thought that they made, that they, the covers were supposed to be what the story was about, boy was I wrong, but you know what, it was still a cool read and I actually had a dream which I think was because of this there's let me try keeping it this way so you can see some of the art care here this is care or Karen she's I don't know if she's actually supposed to be a wolf girl but I guess she envisions herself as such because her favorite thing is monsters there, she and her family live in a basement apartment. Um, her deets and her mom. And you know, I don't. There's one part of the book I don't think was answered. Now let's see. I'm gonna try and keep this, but I'm gonna flip this a little faster because that's just too small. But as you can see, this is some cool art. I especially liked this because it's just black and then this you can see is a well I don't think you can see it from the picture but it has green in it. It's, it's similar. Oh, this is what I saw entertain, part, Entertainment Weekly had in it. I thought it was so cool to see and I especially love the kitty cat. So that is what made me, I thought it was supposed to be like a journal of, I don't know, a monster hunter or a journal written by a monster. I have no idea, but I just thought it was the coolest looking thing. And there's all these characters. I loved that one. That was hysterical. There's also, I would have to say, nobody, if they're younger than high school students there might be some uh, parts in here that <laughs> maybe the, the kids shouldn't see um, I have my reasons I, I mean honestly if I had kids I wouldn't I was watching Jaws when I was like five so I, I I couldn't tell them to not watch a horror movie or whatever that would be me being a hypocrite and I hate that shit Pardon the French, uh, so to speak. Um, we have, let's see, what else we got here? We'll go from back, that's the, oh no, that's, that's, the, whoops, that's the end. But that looks like, that looked like Deets. So we have a few more of these. The mother here, I think that was the mother, she, um, she ends up having cancer. So we just have... That's what we go through. This is supposed to be, I forget 
what saint, but it's the saint of werewolves. Um, I forget what saint this is. I can't find it really quick, as I would like. But there's supposed to be some werewolf saint. And that's like some golem dude. And that's from a painting. That's another thing about this. There are some, I guess you could say recreated paintings. Like, as I showed before. And some of them are really cool looking. I think I like them better this way than having, whether or not I've seen them. Okay, we gotta edit that out. Then seeing uh, them in the galleries and things like that. This is a way that Kara learned how to draw circles. And, well, I think, I, I don't, do I really need to tell you about the story? Um, when, honestly, you just read through this. Anyway, it's a mystery. Um, the story, and it's about Look at the alligator dude. And basically somebody kills one of her name her neighbors, Anka. Anka's the one that you saw in the page that I said that I saw in Entertainment Weekly. Um was it this page? No, that wasn't it. That's Anka there. Alright, she's supposed to be German. She was in um, a German camp and a few other things. She was, let's say she was put into slavery and a few other things. So we have, there's also mention of parts of Chicago. Um, and this is, it was Kara's best friend. And her best friend is supposed to be Mrs. Alucard, which is Dracula back. And just to warn you for the reason I say that they're maybe kids younger than high school or maybe junior high is that reason. There's booby pictures. So. And then there's some of the monster pictures. Um, but other than that, I would say it's uh, PG-13 maybe. Um. If I had to give it a movie rating. Does she figure out who kills Anka? I'm not telling you. Because there's a second book that's as of October, I think, 27th, 2017 is out. So check out this book. And then I just got to wait to get the other book and do a review for that so this is the end of my first video review for a book i hope you enjoyed and let me know what you think in the comments um any questions anything like that but please be nice if there's ways that i can improve my video whatever you want to call it my video presence that's it so Thank you, and I'll talk to you or see you again the next time.